All right, in this short video, we're going to use the 51 open source computer vision tool set to explore the Berkeley Deep Drive data set. Now, if you're new to 51 and the data set zoo, 51 is an open source tool for building high quality data sets and computer vision models. The 51 data set zoo contains a collection of common data sets that you can download and explore inside the 51 app with just a few simple commands. Now, a few quick words about the BDD data set. The dataset itself is one of the largest and most diverse video datasets for autonomous vehicles and heterogeneous multitask learning. The BDD100K dataset contains 100,000 video clips collected from more than 50,000 rides that covered New York, the San Francisco Bay Area, and other regions. It contains diverse scene types such as city streets, residential areas, as well as highways. The videos themselves were recorded in diverse weather conditions and at different times of the day. The videos are split into 70,000 training, 10,000 validation, and 20,000 test sets. Each video is 40 seconds long at 720p resolution and a frame rate of 30 FPS. The frame at the 10th second of each video is annotated for image classification, detection, and segmentation tasks. Now, the version of the data set that we'll be working with contains the 100,000 images together with the image classification, detection, and segmentation labels. The paper associated with the data set is going to be BDD100K, a diverse driving data set for heterogeneous multitask learning, and I'll link to the paper uh, in the video description below. The size of the data set is going to be 7.1 gigs, and the license is going to be BSD3. Now, a few words about what heterogeneous multitask learning is. With single task learning, a separate model is trained for each target to solve a single task or to optimize a single metric at a time. So chances are going to be that you'll encounter a performance bottleneck due to the size of the data set or the ability of the model to learn meaningful representations from it. Now with multitask learning or MTL, here we're optimizing a single model to predict multiple related targets simultaneously. This can result in an improved learning efficiency and prediction accuracy for the task-specific models when compared to training the models separately. So some use cases here are going to be that it's popular in natural language processing, computer vision, and recommendation systems. When tasks have some level of correlation, MTL is going to improve performance when the underlying principles or information is being shared between the tasks. For example, identifying hatchbacks, convertibles, and pickups will involve the classification of car images and are likely to be correlated as the tasks will involve learning to detect their features. With the BDD dataset, the ultimate goal of the benchmark was to study how to perform all the heterogeneous tasks together for an autonomous driving use case. All right, the first thing to do is to head on over to the BDD homepage, and from there you're going to want to follow the links to download the dataset, in this case the 100k image dataset, and ultimately what your directory structure should look like locally is like this. Next up, let's go ahead and set up a virtual environment, assuming you're running Python 3. Let's activate that environment. And with the environment activated, let's go ahead and install IPython just to give ourselves a slightly nicer interactive shell. With IPython installed, let's go ahead and upgrade our setup tools. And with our setup tools upgraded, let's go ahead and install 51. And with 51 installed, we are ready to import the data set as well as launch the 51 app. Let's reset all our filters and take a look at our detections. So within detections, you're going to have 10 classes that are going to be able to be evaluated. They're going to be cars, traffic signs, traffic lights, people, trucks, buses, bicycles, riders, motorcycles, as well as trains. So for example, if we want to isolate the samples that just have trucks in them, we can do that in the filtered view. Next up, let's take a look at weather conditions. So here we're going to have a couple of options. We're going to have clear, overcast, undefined, snowy, rainy, partly cloudy, as well as foggy. So how do we take a look at those samples that are in snowy weather conditions? Next up, we can take a look at what the overall scene is of a particular sample. So for example, you're going to have city streets, highways, residential zones, 
undefined parking lots, tunnels, as well as gas stations. So here we can isolate just those scenes uh, that are happening inside of a tunnel. Next up, we can take a look at the time of day. So here, this is gonna tell you something about the lighting uh, conditions. So for example, if we wanna look at those samples that uh, are dawn to dusk, here's an example. Next up, let's take a look at our polylines view. And from here, we can get a look at lanes, but also drivable area. So first, we can take a look at the drivable area of samples. And then the other thing we can do is we look at the lane markings uh, of the particular samples. All right, so let's put it all together. Let's say, for example, we want to see all the samples that are taking place on a city street uh, where the time of day is daytime and the weather conditions are going to be rainy. And that's going to give us 241 samples that are going to meet that criteria. With the basic exploration of the data set out of the way, you can now start using 51 to do more advanced things like creating data set views, aggregations, interactive plots, annotating the data set, and even evaluating models. If you haven't already done so, make sure to install 51. As you saw, it takes just a few minutes to make it happen. Second, if you have any questions, make sure to join the 51 community Slack. If you like our work, please make sure to star the 51 project. And finally, don't forget, there are over 30 data sets in the 51 data set zoo with more being added all the time. <laughs> <laughs>